This episode of Ask Tim is brought to you by IABNY Web CE. Stick around after the episode to find out how you can earn continuing ed credits from the comfort of your own office. Uh, welcome to Ask Tim, the insurance technical podcast brought to you by IABNY. I'm your host, Tim Dodge, and I'm coming to you today from the Center for Airbag Interaction and Whiplash here at IABNY headquarters. Now, car accidents are no laughing matter, but let's face it, we're in the insurance business. We're all familiar with them. Uh, they happen often enough that it keeps insurance professionals pretty busy. And when it comes to car accidents, there's one area in particular that I get a lot of questions from my Ebony members about. Uh, it's a coverage somewhat unique to New York, and that brings us to today's word, no fault. I know, some of you out there are saying, Tim, no fault is two words. Listen, there's a hyphen between no and fault. That makes it one word. My show, my rules. Okay. <laughs> so... To the subject at hand, as research director here at IABNY, I've made it my business to immerse myself in the fine details and complexities of New York's no-fault insurance coverage. (laughs) Now, I want to go over some of the key points here. First of all, one of the misconceptions about no-fault, certainly among some people out of state and even a few people here in state, is what exactly it covers. No-fault insurance covers only bodily injuries. If it's property damage claim, damage to somebody else's auto, uh, that's covered by property damage liability. So if I hit somebody else's car, my liability coverage will cover the damage to that person's car. The next thing I want to talk about is who does it cover? Because there's a, it, this is a very complicated part of the coverage, and I want to go over that in some detail. First of all, it covers the named insured and any relative for injuries arising out of the use or operation or occupancy of any auto. Now, by relative, the form means a spouse, a child, or any other person related to the named insured by blood, marriage, or adoption who regularly resides in the named insured's household, and that would include college students who are temporarily living elsewhere. So, for example, if my kids are injured while I'm driving them to the mall, my no-fault insurance covers their injuries. Next, no fault covers the named insured and any relative who is injured by a motorcycle while they're not on a motorcycle. You run me down but with uh, your Harley, my insurance covers it. It also covers anyone else who is injured while in the named insured's vehicle. For example, say I have need Director of Education Kathy Lawler. My good friend Kathy Lawler asked me for a ride somewhere. <laughs> if she gets hurt during that ride, my insurance will cover her. Lastly, any New York resident whose injuries arise out of the use or operation of the named insured's vehicle outside of New York State while that person is not occupying another vehicle. So if they're in my car, we're in Massachusetts or Pennsylvania, and they get injured and they're a New York State resident, then they have coverage under my no-fault insurance. More importantly, and a little more complicated, is who is not covered, and this is a long list. The named insured while occupying or struck by a vehicle he owns but that doesn't have no fault coverage. You've got a car you haven't registered yet uh, sitting in your garage and you get hurt using that thing, no no fault coverage applies. Same thing for one of your relatives. If that relative owns a car and that car is not registered and doesn't have no fault insurance, no coverage for any injuries arising out of that car. No coverage for the named insured or relative while occupying or struck by a vehicle in New York State other than one of the insured vehicles that has no fault coverage. So if I'm riding in somebody else's car and that car has no fault insurance, my coverage isn't going to pick that up. This exclusion does not apply if you're riding on a bus or a school bus. So if one of my kids gets hurt riding to and from school in the school bus, my no fault insurance is going to apply even though uh, my, my child was on somebody else's vehicle. There's no coverage for anybody occupying a motorcycle. There's no coverage for anyone who intentionally injures himself. (laughs) There's no coverage for any person operating a vehicle while under the influence of drugs or alcohol. 
No coverage for any person while committing a felony or while evading arrest. No coverage for anyone while racing. So, for example, I take my hot rod out on some back road to uh, show a little muscle against the uh, local toughs. I don't have any coverage for no fall while that's happening. <laughs> There's no coverage for any person who's using or riding in a car known to be stolen. There's no coverage for a person who is working on a car if that person's in the business of working on cars and the injury happens on the business premises. There's no coverage for the named insured or any relative who is injured by a motorcycle that's carrying no-fault coverage. There's no coverage for a New York State resident other than the named insured uh, or relative who is injured through the use or operation of the insured vehicle outside New York if that person has their own no-fault coverage. And there's no coverage for a New York State resident injured outside of New York State through the use or operation of the insured motor vehicle if that person owns a vehicle and that vehicle doesn't have no-fault coverage. So again, an unregistered vehicle, um, not carrying no-fault coverage, that person's not going to have coverage under my no-fault insurance. As you can see from the prior discussion, no-fault insurance can be kind of complex. So in the event of a no-fault claim, cut the claim adjuster a little bit slack. That person's just trying to do their job under difficult circumstances. In our next episode, we're going to be looking at the various coverages under the no-fault endorsement, the limits, and when you can sue somebody over your injuries even though you have no-fault insurance. For more information on this topic, visit the Auto Insurance Issues page in the research section of the IABNY website. If you want to get a hold of me, as always, you can reach me at 800-851-8853, extension 229. You can email me at tdodge at iabney.org. You can find me on AOL Instant Messenger at tdog4494. You can find me on Twitter as AskTim. Thanks for watching this episode of Ask Tim. We'll be back with another episode soon, and in the meantime, if you want to know what happens when you get hurt behind the wheel, don't forget to ask Tim. IAPNI now offers the option of earning continuing education credits online with no exam required. These Web CE courses are convenient and cost effective and feature IAPNI's award winning instructors. Recent topics have included producer compensation disclosure, commercial general liability, fraud, and privacy laws. It's easy to sign up with online registration, and you will earn CE credits from your desk in your office with no travel required. It's as easy as log in, listen, and learn. To view the Web CE offerings, visit www.iabney.org forward slash edcalendar and click on the Web CE link.